everyone how are you guys doing today so today i'm going to do a review of pop fit clothing i think it is an instagram brand they do their marketing through instagram but i think i have seen their ads kind of pop up other places as well the draw to this brand for me at least has been that they produce their clothing in a wide range of sizes which is awesome because if you are anything but skinny you guys have felt the struggle you go to stores and most of the times the things that you want aren't available in your sizing yeah been there yep many times many times and actually even more since i have had my kids and have been you know slightly overweight so i was very excited to see a brand making clothing in such a wide you know i think they go even up to 6x if i'm not wrong and when i clicked on the ad it said that they would send me one item of their clothing for free to try it out if i was interested i had to just pick up shipping and handling when i went on the website to fill in my information they said that if i wanted to sign up for a vip membership they would send me not one but two free items i could review them for a month and the following month which would be february i think around 7th of february when my membership would start and they would charge me 35 dollars each month they would send me a mystery item that they have picked up or i could kind of make a wish list and they would send me items from that list and then for the rest of the month i could purchase additional pieces of clothing if i liked at a 40 percent discounted price which i thought was great initially so i went ahead i signed up and here's my package which came really quickly i signed up for this whole thing you know when it usually happens around midnight yeah on the 8th and 9th i got a shipping confirmation and the package arrived on the 14th which was in five days which i thought was pretty awesome so i have the items in my possession the goal for today is to try them out see how they actually fit i think i ordered what size did i order so I have ordered both of my items in the size large. I ordered a printed leggings and a plain pair of leggings. Another draw to this brand is that they make these huge pockets on the sides of the thighs, which they say hold the largest cell phones that is currently available, which is great. My current leggings do have little pockets on the back where I could put either my ring or my keys, you know, which I'm walking around or something, but that's about it. So. The pocket was another big draw for me so let's give them a try first let me show you the kind of leggings i'm wearing today i purchased these leggings from jc penny as you can say as you can see they're pretty high rise so i have never had an issue of it kind of sliding down they have a little drawstring in the front that i can try it tight with um, i think it has a nice kind of tummy control and usually they only have like a little pouch somewhere like for this one I think there's a tiny little pouch here where I keep my rings, but that's about it. I purchased all of my leggings from JCPenney, the exercise ones. I think they have a really good selection and I really like the styles that are available there. They're also very affordable. Very often they are also on sale. I think I paid about $12 or $15 for these or maybe $18, but not more than that. And I have been using them for about five years now, which is great. I purchased them all kind of in a bulk when I first made my move from Massachusetts to here and I was like okay I'm going to sunny California all I'm gonna wear is exercise clothing and get super in shape or something like that that was my plan at the time um, hasn't worked out still but I have some of these leggings from Jesse Penny I have also tried clothing from Fabletics if you know that is another online fitness clothing store so if you want me to do a comparison between the two brands and let me know so and i'll do that as well so for shipping i paid 13 dollars and seven cents for the two pairs of leggings so the first item i have is called lily crop with pockets and it's in the shade navy the material feels nice and thick it's well stitched okay let's give it a try So these feel nice, honestly. They feel more like kind of like casual leggings than exercise ones. I like the little sheer panel with the crisscross on the side. The material on these feels a little bit thinner than what is on here. My cell phone does fit in all the way. 
of course i haven't worn them during the exercise so i don't know if this edge kind of writes up or not but it doesn't feel like it's going to for anybody who's concerned that the leggings usually come lower on them these go much higher than my other pair so it's gonna cover everything <laughs> so no worries there yeah otherwise they feel nice there's only one pocket I was expecting it to have a second pocket, but I guess the pocket is only on one side. Let's try the second pair. So the second pair is called Stella Crop with Pockets, and it's a nice printed material. Oh, this one has actually pockets on both sides, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that they differed like that. So let's give these a try. So I wasn't so sure about these when I first got them because of the design. I wasn't sure if it is going to be too busy. It's fine, I guess, if I wear plain t-shirts, which I usually do when I go to the gym. I like the fact that in this case, it has pockets on both the sides. It doesn't have any other design or anything else on it. One thing I have to say that it doesn't have the drawstring closure so for anyone if this doesn't fit well or in future if the elastic kind of comes loose in the wash there is no backup that's what i like about my my usual pants they are the what this brand is from jc penny all right as i'm sitting down i feel like the stella clothing is slightly thinner than the lily and also as i'm sitting down it seems to kind of stretch where the black is and the black is looking kind of gray not a big deal but it could make some people a little bit conscious so if you're looking at prints be aware of that especially if you're a larger person and if you think that the clothing is going to stretch then yeah that could be an issue now of course only time will tell how these clothings last now let's talk pricing okay i received the two items for 13 dollars and seven cents which is a steal but from here on, I would have to spend $35 each month and receive one piece of clothing. Thinking about these as $35, I feel like they are a little bit overpriced. That's one of my concerns. My other concern is, do I really want to receive 12 leggings in a year? I don't think I am going to purchase a legging every month. I'm At least I don't need it that often. I'm trying to think who would. <laughs> I mean, if you are a fitness trainer who goes through like two or three leggings a day, do fitness trainers do that? Do they like change their clothing after teaching each class? I don't know. If you are that, then maybe it makes sense to have like 30, 40 leggings. I don't know. And it makes further no sense that I would receive one item already and then I would be purchasing additional items to receive that 40% off discount. It, I mean, I don't see it happening at all, honestly. I also looked into whether I could kind of pause my membership each month because that was an option in Fabletics. Like I could skip months. I didn't see any option here. The only option they had was to freeze your membership for $5 a month and you could still get the 40% discount. So you could say that I don't want to receive the $35 item. Instead, I'm going to pay $5 and then I'm going to purchase the additional leggings for 40% discount. That might make sense if I'm going to purchase the items anyways. And then it's like adding $5 to whatever the total is. But what after the first month that i made a purchase unless i'm buying an item every single month that model is just not making sense to me so profit if you're listening i think you need to give your vip members the option to skip the month you know don't give us the discounts if we decide to not buy the item that month that way at least i will stay a vip member and whenever you know i'm in need of more exercise clothing i would go ahead and buy them i think they do sell other items as well like underwear and you know the bras and shirts and all that but still i don't see myself in need of so many exercise clothes plus i feel like even after the 40 percent discount the price comes out to be the same or actually more expensive than what i would find here in local stores so unless you are somebody who cannot find their sizes in store, financially it's not making sense to me, to be honest. So yeah, those are my thoughts. First of all, I think that the Lily pants were better in terms of material than the printed ones that I'm wearing currently. I like the fact that the printed one has two pockets and not just one like the Lily one. I like the pockets, they are nice in size i wish that getting that item every month was not mandatory or having to pay five dollars to just skip a month was not mandatory 
instead I wish there was an option to just say I don't want to buy anything this month I would buy it next month so those are my thoughts if you have tried them let me know what you guys think in the comments below Pockfit, thank you again for giving me a chance to give these items a try but unless you guys come up with an option to just not make any purchase and not spend any money in a given month when I choose right now I'm going to be out let me know when you guys come up with that option all right thank you again for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next video bye